is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That sounds good to me. And then on Friday, ladies and gentlemen, on Friday, it's the premiere of the Viewer's Choice Playthrough. And what does that mean? I'll tell you what that means. It means that this Friday we're starting up Donkey Kong 64. The Donkey Kong Country game that was on Nintendo 64. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, Junior Mint did a 100-bit cheer. And that actually, um... <clears throat> that actually is the top cheer of the day. And of course he uses this to insult me, of course. Ready? Ready for this, this insult? Luckily, I just let these insults roll off my back. But he says, Phil, did you hear this new Asian flu has now come up in Washington State? Just so you know, the symptoms are constant sniffing and throat clearing and heavy hair loss. All right, well, there you go. Obviously, oh, obviously that's me. To a T. 100%, I must have it. <clears throat> I must be the primary carrier of it in this state, right? How else, uh, you know, <clears throat> what else would it be? Thanks very much for the insults. I always appreciate being insulted on my pre-stream, Junior Man. And thanks for the cheer during the insult. I want to be a human. Uh, PW Dub sent me a dollar. He says, Hola, Senor Phil. Yesterday was the five-year anniversary of the swatting attempt. No, it was not. Uh, the swatting attempt that happened to me, first of all, it wasn't an attempt. I was swatted. There was no attempt. I was 100% swatted. The police showed up. I was pulled out of my house. Uh, it happened in June. <clears throat> June of 2015. I can tell you exactly how I know that because I was playing Batman Arkham Knight, which was the final Batman game from Rocksteady. And it was a new release. And I think it was like the second or third day maybe that it had been out. Um, these people have been trying to fuck with me for the longest time. Earlier on that week, when it was the, the night premiere of Batman Arkham Knight, <clears throat> they had DDoS attacked me. They had actually attacked my modem and knocked me off the internet, like, multiple times during that stream to try to fuck with me. But I didn't quit. I kept pushing forward, and these people were so annoyed that I would not go away and I would not be deterred by their, their, you know, their, their really fucked up stuff they were doing to me <clears throat> that they pushed it a level further and they swatted me. Okay, um, so you're absolutely incorrect. No, this is not the five-year anniversary of me being swatted. That would be coming up in June. Uh, it's a gamer shit. Hell yeah, it's a lot of gamer shit. But regardless, let's see what you're saying here. He says, How far you've come from this is amazing, and I'm proud of you. Well, thank you very much, PW Dubs. That is a very nice message, and I appreciate that. Thank you for the dollar tip. <clears throat> let's get you up on the leaderboard as the first tipper of the day. So before I continue on, there is something that I want to say. As you guys know, I'm very appreciative of all your tips, okay? However, you know, a lot of people have been coming by and giving dollar tips, and they give, like, a ton of them, all right? And that's that's great. Thank you for that. But you may not realize the way PayPal works. <clears throat> the way PayPal works is they charge a flat fee per transaction, all right? So every tip that you that you give me here on a stream, they take 30 cents or 30, I think it's like 33 cents, something like that, or 36 cents, something like that, per each transaction, Okay? So, for example, let's say PW Dub just tipped me a dollar, and he tips me ten dollars today. Okay, each an individual dollar. Well, guess what happens? PayPal takes thirty something cents every one of those. I only get sixty cents per tip. So, in reality, he may think that he's tipping me ten dollars, and he only tips me six. Okay, all that money goes to PayPal. If PW Dub had just tipped me ten dollars in one tip, they only charge one transaction fee of thirty something cents. So, I actually would get nine dollars and sixty cents. Do you see what I'm saying? When you do these smaller tips like this, it's cool. I, yeah, I'm, listen, I'm grateful. I'm not complaining. But it's actually a little counterproductive because you're giving way less than what you're intending, and PayPal's taking a bigger cut. So I don't usually mention this, but I've mentioned recent. I mean, I've seen recently that some people are coming in and doing dollar tip, dollar tip, dollar tip, dollar tip. Okay. Um, Here's the other thing, guys, and I've talked about this before, and I'll say it again. People who actually support me understand that when you tip a dollar, it doesn't really help that much because when you tip a dollar. PayPal takes 40, 30 to 40 cents out of that. So every dollar tipped, I get like 60 cents. So the difference here is, oh, I want to support Phil tonight. 
So I'm going to, you know, tip him. I was going to do $5 tips. I'll do a $5 tip because I know they take one fee versus... Oh, I'm just going to keep tipping a dollar so Phil has to keep saying stupid shit on his stream. And I know he doesn't get much money, but I still get my shout out. You see what I mean? Make them bigger so that way they're more significant, you know? So, just to forewarn you, that's what's going on. You're giving more money to the payment process or doing it that way. So, consider if you want to be more supportive, doing it more in a bigger chunk. You know, it would make more sense and it helps me out more. All right, it's pure greed and theft. It's illegal. This guy is a thief. It's greed and oh it's phil's greed oh it's greed phil wants more he always wants more the bum life tip me a dollar asking me why do i constantly exaggerate time you have like 10 years equates to a million stop trying to fabricate time just to get people to forget about the incident the internet never forgets the incident will be played during your service have a good one the incident <laughs> uh what are you talking about? Like, we all know about the incident. We know what happened. I think that most people have kind of realized, okay, it happened. Yeah, Phil will never live it down. People will always bring it up and we'll always have a chuckle. But, you know, there's a difference between people who, like, get that and say, okay, let's move on. Let's have a fun stream today versus idiots like you who are just going to sit here and focus like that's all we talk about constantly. Like, maybe if you have the brain of a pea and the maturity of, like, a three-year-old, you think that it's funny to reference something that's a long time ago. I don't even know how long ago it was. I don't care. It's in the past. I move forward to the future and we have fun together, right? It's, you're, you're just being an idiot. So thanks for the dollar tip, stupid idiot. Every single day he comes in, he's toxic. Please understand that I'm not toxic. I'm not. Froggins. Did a 50-bit cheer? He says, I was catching up with your Pokemon Shield playthrough when you started talking about how you have no idea why some streams are very supportive while others are not. Maybe you could directly ask us what compels us to contribute to your streams. You can use that as constructive feedback, especially in light of your recent financial revelations. I mean... <coughs> <coughs> Truth of the matter is that... I don't want to talk about money all the time. The truth of the matter is that when I seem to have a good stream and enjoy myself, in general, you guys seem to, to enjoy that stream more. And the less that I talk about money and finances and all that shit, the better. However, there are times when I notice, oh my god, there's a stream that's like insanely slow for contributions. And, you know, realize this is my job. <clears throat> if I want to keep going and make ends meet or whatever, that I do, you know, look to try to bring in some contributions every stream, right? So It's kind of a double-edged sword. The more I mention money... The more annoying the stream can be to the common viewer. But the less I mention money, sometimes I'll get a slow stream and then it's not, it's detrimental. You see what I mean? Just a reminder, guys, if you want to help me out, and please, you know, if you can today, please do, please tip me. Um, like I said, yesterday tips were really, really light. And tomorrow I'm actually going out earlier than usual this week. So any tips you, you, you know, today are going to directly help me like afford my groceries and stuff tomorrow. So please tip me if you can today. Okay, guys? So it's kind of like finding that balance. Um, and what you're saying here, I absolutely I agree with you, Froggins. Like, I don't know what it particularly is that may compel a person one day to be supportive and another day not to be. Or, you know what I mean? Like, some days, I'll just be doing normal streams. I'll feel like I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary. And all of a sudden, some people come in and we get a really support. People are coming in. I want to do a hype train today. Let's get a hype train going on the stream, right? <clears throat> so we'll start doing hype trains and stuff. And it's like, damn, that's awesome. You know, people are being so supportive and it's amazing. And then some days, I swear I'll be doing exactly the same thing. I'll be putting out the same kind of fun, entertaining stream. We're all having a good time together. And contributions are really low, you know? I don't think you can really control it as a streamer. I really don't. You know, yes, to some extent, you can say, okay, I'm in a special situation where I really need you to rally your support today for a cause or whatever. And that's different. But just in general, just doing a regular stream during a day, I don't think you can really control the day-to-day -day stuff like that. And that's okay, you know? Um, in general, what I found is that as long as I'm putting out the same level of fun stream for you guys every day, that in general, people will be supportive when they feel like it. It evens out. You know what I mean? Now, yeah, if there's something crazy going on behind the scenes and I need some extra help, I'll let you guys know. And in general, you guys have always stepped up and been supportive during those situations. So it works out. If every day I turned into, oh my God, it's a crazy situation, I need help, that would not work. You know what I mean? That would be completely, first of all, disingenuous of me to be saying that constantly because that's not the case. <clears throat> I only do those special streams and things when I actually really need the help. And, you know, I would feel like, what, what are they called? The Boy Who Cried Wolf? Or Chicken Little, The Sky Is Falling? If you're constantly acting like that, um, basically you make it a commonplace thing and then therefore people aren't going to help because they're going to be like, dude, it's just constantly you're in trouble. I don't care anymore. Tips were pretty slow today. Hopefully tomorrow we can pick that up a little bit because that helps me out with my coming week. You know, my day out, I pay with stuff with tips. So uh, hopefully things like that will pick up tomorrow.
I feel now that like things is are easier for me now. Whenever there's a crisis and I need help, you guys help me. Whenever there's a situation, you know, and I, I you know what I mean. In addition, I hate to say it, as I said already on pre-stream, there's been this issue with certain streamers who just seem incredibly ungrateful for anything that they get. They're in this mentality that like, oh, because I'm putting out a stream for you, you better pay me or I'm going to turn the stream off. Like there's people, I, I guess people reference LTG, I guess infamously at one point, he was like, if I don't get a certain amount of tips, I'm not turning the webcam on and shit like that. I don't know if that's true. That's what people have told me. If it's a, if it's false and it's a misconception, I completely apologize for even saying it on my stream. <clears throat> but I would never <clears throat> do something like that. You see what I mean? Um, so as you, the YouTube viewers, there's two things you can do to help. Number one, you can attend this Saturday's stream. Check out the actual stream at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash darksidephil. I'll be streaming 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. on March 23rd. Come by, say hello, and contribute. Only tipping that's going to help. Now, if you absolutely cannot make it to the stream on Saturday, all right, you can still leave a tip. You can still do it. If you watch my videos all the time here on YouTube and you appreciate the fact that despite the fact that YouTube makes me almost no money whatsoever to upload the videos here, I really do it as fan service for you guys who've been longtime viewers of mine and love watching my stuff. Um, a lot of you even say you can't watch the live streams for whatever reason, but you can watch the on-demand videos on YouTube. Great. Please, if at all you can, please be supportive and leave a tip. You, the YouTube viewers, people who only exclusively watch on YouTube, I really need your support. This is it. This is the most important stream coming up I've ever done because I need to raise these funds. And if I don't, I'm done. I'm probably going to have to sell my house and, and have a horrible year where there's going to be all kinds of less streaming because I have to move and, and, and figure stuff out. It's not going to be good. Okay. It's going to be a very stressful, uh, negative thing. That honestly, you know, do I deserve it? No. I worked my butt off and it just sucks that so many things have happened in the past few years to screw me over and make me not able to afford my taxes at this point that I need your help. Now, you want videos on YouTube? Pledge to Patreon. Oh, what I'm hoping for is the best. I'm hoping that we'll have some generous parties who will step up and contribute and help. Some of the people are saying, when you say step up, that's offensive. Well, to me, it's not. I always view any kind of contribution as something extra from just being <clears throat> a viewer. And I'm grateful that anyone would support me in any way. So to have that kind of mentality of, oh, you know, I, I deserve something because I decided to turn on my stream today. I think that's fucking ludicrous. Okay. I think that if anything, in the 11 years that I've done this, I found that if you put out quality content, people will like you and you're going to get people who support you no matter what. You don't have to constantly be slamming those people asking, why aren't you contributing? But... That being said, also every once in a while, it may be a good idea to just say, hey, today's a slower stream, FYI. If anyone wants to contribute and help pick it up, please do. You know, it, it's all about finding that balance. And I think some people are always going to have issue with anyone who ever even mentions making money. And some people will always have issue with the fact that, <clears throat> you know, they're, oh my God, this guy's on stream every day and there's money involved and blah, blah, blah. You know, you can't fix that. You know, that will always be a factor. Um, for me, I've tried to find that balance. And getting back to the subject, the tip here, or, or excuse me, the cheer here. Um, I don't think Froggins, I'm ever going to 100% understand what compels people to contribute. And the truth of the matter is, I don't want that to be the, the end-all be-all of my streams. <clears throat> I, I want us to have fun and have a good time. That's the purpose of me doing the streams to begin with. And the money comes in as a secondary thing, or as a result of that, that's great. But I don't want this to be, I, I'm not streaming to raise funds. I didn't make the videos on YouTube, you know, when I started on YouTube 11 years ago to make money. I couldn't even monetize them back then. Um, this is all for fun and for having a good time and, and you know... And true enjoyment of the game. I keep telling you guys how I'm different from a lot of other people because I do this for the passion of it. I don't do it to make a buck. It's cruel that I can make a buck doing it, but that's not what I'm here for, okay? I'm good at lying. <laughs> Pedacito, Pincito, I, I don't know. I don't know how to say this in Spanish. But anyway, they did a hundred bit cheer and says, Hey, Phil, do you speak Italian or Spanish or know any phrases? Like, help me, please. It's very important. He says, Ayudame, por favor, es muy importante. That's, help me, please. It's very important. Um, yes, because I just read it. I can understand basic Spanish. I can read basic Spanish. <clears throat> I cannot say it. Like, if you just said to me, Phil, how do you say, help me, please? It's very important in Spanish. I would have no clue how to do it, but I could read it and understand it. Okay? Um, so there is your answer. Now, uh, Italian, 
Man, Italian's close to Spanish, but there are a lot of differences between the languages. Ayúdame, por favor. Es muy importante. So usually I can decipher general meanings of Italian words, but sometimes I have no idea. So. Mature adult cheer. This is just... What the fuck? I'm, uh, I guess mature adult's taking a huge dump. And he, he felt like telling us. Thanks for the cheer. Whoa. What? This guy is like an idiot. Listen to this. This guy's completely wrong. He tipped me a dollar. He says, PayPal will charge the same flat fee for multiple dollar transactions, resulting in being the same no matter how much more you tip. It's special for people who stream. Stop it and being dishonest with people. I know this. You're wrong. You're 100% wrong. Really? <clears throat> that is 100%. I don't know who told you that. <clears throat> There's no special arrangement that PayPal has with streamers. PayPal has no idea if you're a streamer. All they do is track your transactions. There is a 30-some cent ch a charge, flat fee, for every transaction via PayPal. And if someone tips a bunch of dollars, you only get 60-some cents per tip. Versus if someone tips $5, they only take the one 30-cent transaction fee, and you'll get $4.60. and -some cents. What you're saying is 100% wrong. That is completely a lie. And if you have no idea what you're talking about, you should keep your mouth shut. Trust me, I used to do the same thing. Talk directly out of my rectum and look myself look like a fool on, or on, on video every single day on YouTube. <clears throat> I stopped doing that because I stopped, wanted to look like an asshole. So you should stop looking like an asshole. Okay. Uh, PW Dubs tipped me a dollar. He says, the reason why I tip dollars is because I get more bang for my buck. I can ask multiple questions, but I'll take your advice now and I'll do larger tips. Thank you for that. Meh, meh, I understand. Like, I, I, a lot of people would probably just come in and say, I'm just going to tip a bunch of bucks because I can ask a couple questions. I get that. But the thing that concerns me is, for example, right now it says I have $12 in tips for the day. Bullshit. I probably have about six or seven. Oh, I need more money. I don't stream to make money. Because everyone did dollar tips. And that's the problem. Is there's a misconception about how much I make. A lot of people completely over-exaggerate stuff because it's wrong because all those dollar tips are only 60 cents and it sucks on a day that looks like i'm doing really well and then i actually go look and i'm like how the hell did i make so much less and it sucks but that's that's just the, the matter of fact way about it i get the feeling that there are people who don't know that you know i don't i certainly almost never mention paypal transaction fees so this being one of the rare times that i have hopefully that educated a few people okay all right i got a dollar tip from someone named hello saying snort entered the chat okay great thank you hello for the dollar tip and thanks for snort entering the chat whatever the fuck that means See through, tip me a dollar. The tips are mandatory because you wouldn't stream if you weren't making money since you're doing this full time. Um, that's false. If I wasn't doing this for a job, I would go get another job and I would still stream. That's the truth. It wouldn't be certain. It wouldn't be full time. You're right. And obviously, when you do something for a job as a professional, you're expected to make money doing it, or else why? Why you can't keep doing it like that, right? Like I said early on in this pre-stream, I'm one of the people lucky enough that my actual hobby is now my job. It was never intended to be that way. It just worked out that way. So wrong. Tips are not mandatory. If, for some odd reason, overnight, I was not able to make any money on Twitch, I would have to go find another job, but I would continue to keep streaming um, just at a reduced capacity. So, thank you for the dollar tip. You're completely and utterly wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong. Okay. <clears throat> so, you don't have it. Tip me a dollar saying, You think we're joking about the coronavirus, man? But you think it's a joke, but look how many times you choked during the stream today, man. Get yourself checked, man. Okay. Thanks. I will. I will. I'll get myself checked. Please send me the uh, $500 to pay the doctor for the checkup. Since it won't be a routine uh, health checkup, it'll be something special to get checked for the virus. I'm expecting that money in the mail, and then I'll go check the doctor. Or I'll go check with the doctor. Thanks. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money, blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>